Hey, welcome back to another Mobile Edit Monday where I edit mobile photos using uh, really my computer, but today I'm on my iPad Pro here, so hopefully uh, we can get the same thing. Now, with that being said, I do have this photo of a sun, essentially, and it was early morning, I was walking to work, and I turned around, and lo and behold, there was... Uh, I, it was actually a moon, or the moon, I don't know what it is. Anyway, there's just this orange dot that was in the middle of the sky, and I had snapped a quick photo of it, and that's what we have here today. So we're going to go ahead and dive in with editing this particular image and making it make sense to the things that I want. I am outside, so if it's a little loud, I do apologize, but hopefully it's not too loud or too crazy. So let's go ahead and jump right into the edit. Now, one of the fun things that you can do whenever you're editing on a mobile device like this is just hit the auto button. And when you hit the auto button, the computer or the device makes some choices for you. And I really enjoy using this along with the little slider on the side because it keeps all of those adjustments proportionate. So as I move this slider up and down, you can see what's happening on this particular uh, scale. Now, with that being said, if you're like, you know what, I kind of like this, but I want to fine tune it, right? Because I am using Apple Photos here. I imagine this will be the same on many other photo editing applications that are built into your device. But if I hit the next icon here that says the plus minus exposure, well, now I can modify just the exposure, right? So I can make this photo darker, I can make it brighter, and that's actually not too bad. But what I think I really wanna do here is highlight those colors, and I know that if I come down here to saturation and vibrance, I think I can really start to fine tune or hone in on those. But uh, if I pull up on the vibrance by really just pulling down on the tablet, I start to get a little bit more of that look. Now, this is the live view. You can see that was just a overexposed <laughs> portion, that little orange dot. Um, but what I really wanna do is figure out how I can make the colors in the sky uh, kind of pop from what they were on that day. And you are a little limited to what you can do inside of Apple Photos. And this is the reason why what I'm going to do here is send it to Photoshop Express. All right. So I'm going to hit Photoshop Express. Yes, it can turn off the live edits. And then this is going to send it over to Photoshop Express with all of those other adjustments that I've already made. And now what I can do is come over to Adjustments color and then I can start to modify my color just a little bit here so let's hit saturation um, and pull up on the saturation just a touch uh, and Photoshop Express is not one of those exclusive programs where you can really start to fine-tune things uh, but you can get some really cool looks and that's where I think if I hit the look and then we'll click on HDR and let's see what we get with HDR. Uh, and I'm really just looking for something that's going to enhance that sky and make the sky look a little bit better. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of any of these looks to be entirely honest. It doesn't always work. I actually kind of like this look, but this look is actually more of what I was seeing on the day. So let me just go ahead and pull down on some of the uh, exposure or this particular adjustment here. And I think that this is more appropriate to what I would like to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. This is gonna save back into my camera roll and it actually brings me back into Apple Photos. So the main goal here is just showing that you can use your Apple devices or your mobile devices to edit your photos. The iPad is the particular choice that I'm using here, but I could have done this on my iPhone or anywhere else. And sometimes this is what you need to do when you're out in the field 
and you don't have the opportunity to jump onto a computer. So using your devices, and I love using Apple products, not sponsored by Apple, but Apple, you can get at me if, if you want to, not sponsored by them. However, syncing my photos over to my iPad from my iPhone is pretty much seamless. Uh, I can connect to my phone as a hotspot if I'm out somewhere where I don't have Wi-Fi. I can use my cell phone, connect to a hotspot, and then I can pull these photos and start working. So hopefully you found value in today's content. If you did, smash the like button. But down in the comment section below, let me know how you edit your mobile photos. I would really love to hear what you guys are doing out there and maybe it's something I can collaborate with you on and I would love to have hosts or guests on the channel uh, that also edit on mobile devices. So until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.